Dog Mom, Houston, thoughts on when mar- when uh, on where market is going up or down? I mean, for two years now, we've talked about how this is unsustainable. And for two years now, we've read reports from Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs, JP Morgan, et cetera, saying this is unsustainable. And somehow it's been sustained. And I think it's the, chiefly because of the Federal Reserve. The Federal Reserve is spending, how you're biting me, spending money, uh, shoring up the market using using federal reserve notes using treasury bonds whatever they're buying a whole bunch of securities that otherwise would languish uh, to prepare themselves for the soft landing which i don't think they can actually do i think all they can do is either pump up this facade year over year month over month whatever or they can do their job and sell off those securities and crash the entire market uh so they're this rock and a hard 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 place zone and if they don't raise interest rates even more, then we're going to continue to have inflation that gets out of control. So, I mean, the only way to stop inflation is to punish everybody. And you hate to punish everybody because life sucks when you do. Uh, but this is what comes from, you know, taking billions away in taxes on billionaires, racking up huge deficits, having a global pandemic hit us that loses the global economy like eight and a half trillion dollars. Um you know, that's the nature of things. So maybe, maybe you got to rip that Band-Aid and start all over again. Uh, that seems to be where we go. Okay. Since the year 206, I genuinely need reaffirmation that we aren't all collectively experiencing insanity or being gaslit into insanity, watching these uh, financial markets stay afloat and seeing our favorite stocks manipulated. Uh, I mean, we're all a little bit insane, right? Normal people are like, you know what? Forget that crap. I'm going to watch TV. Um, And so, uh, and then there's us who are like, how dare they? And we want to like rouse rabbles and get our pitchforks and torches. Uh, But here's the thing. If anything's taught us anything, if history's taught us anything, I should say, it is whenever there's a crazy top, there's an even crazier bottom. So it's going, woohoo, yeah, woo, nothing can go wrong, yay. And then everything goes wrong. Because that's just the way it is. There's so much fraud and so many scams, it catches up to them in the end. And the catching up is what we're waiting for. We're waiting for for the markets to just shit the bed, catch up, get these guys, and you know, re-level the playing field all over again. Uh, there's, there's a lot, there's a lot of broskies who are at Lehman and, and, and Bear Stearns who never worked in the financial industry again because they were toxic. I went, Ooh, (laughs) yeah, we're not going to enjoy your last bonus because you're not going to work here anymore. So go get your cabin in Wyoming, sit in Jackson hole, drink your single malt malt scotch and be done with it. And they got to pay him back. Just in my head, can you explain UVXY? Supposed to be inverse SPY. Why has it pooped the bed over the past year? Because uh, the SPY really hasn't done the volatility that UVXY requires. Also, UVXY, I think, halves. And so they end up producing more shares, which brings the volume down. And if we got a sudden huge drop in the SPY, UVXY and other inverse ones would like rocket. They might not rocket in the same day. It might be like a day or two later that it starts to affect because it has to do with like puts and calls and all these things, uh, what, what those uh, inverse funds work on. So uh, there's like a little bit of a delay in, in how they how they react. But the fact that the plunge protection team has been keeping the spy at a steady level. Where, where, where are we at right now? They're still around 400. Sorry, cat. You're... Um, 394. Yeah, it's still still 140 bucks too high. <laughs> we got down to like 360 in June and then went right back to 400 again. Uh without it was not really a true correction. It was just sort of like an inconvenience for everyone, but it should have it should have dropped a lot. So unless the spy drops 100 bucks, the UVXY isn't going to do spit. 
Uh, and we're just going to sit here and wait and wait and wait some more. Just twiddling our thumbs. That's going to be the new theme. I'm going to be a t-shirt. Just some guy twiddling his thumbs, waiting for the slow, inevitable heat death of the universe to happen.